welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is abiola and in today's video we're we'll creating the off shoulder cycle dress that we have on the right the one i recreated is the one on the left and in today's tutorial we will not be drafting any pattern so without wasting so much time guys let us head straight into the tutorial of today now let's calculate the length of fabric we would need to cut out our off shoulder and i'm going to start by writing my bust circumference my bust circumference is 38 inches and 38 divided by 4 gives me 9.5 inches guys and i'm going to go ahead to add one inch seam allowance to that 9.5 inches one inch is the allowance i will be working with for this outfit that gives me 10.5 inches okay now let's move on to the fabric which is placed on fold this fabric as you can see it's on fold and when i fold it back and i take the measurement what i'm supposed to have there should be that 10.5 inches if it's less than that that implies that i'm going to be short of fabric what i have there is a little over 11 which is very very okay so i'll go ahead now to cut off this upper part i do not like including that in my outfit you know it frays easily okay that's like the topmost part of the fabric after cutting that out i'll start to mark my off shoulder and i like to start my off shoulder from the six inch point like that's the best for me you saw my outfit is that you can start from five you can start from seven depending on what you want but six is the best for me and for the length of the fabric you would need um your shoulder to your waist my shoulder to waist is 16.5 inches plus 0.5 inch will give me 17 inches okay so um once you have your shoulder to waist plus 0.5 inch allowance then you know that your fabric will be enough mine is in excess so don't mind me just you know cut out exactly what you need okay now let's mark our horizontal measurements okay the first thing i'm going to mark is my armhole line and to calculate your armhole line you divide your bust by 6 plus 1.5 inches 38 divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches is about 7.8 approximately 8 inches after marking my armhole line i'll proceed to mark my bust point area which is 10 inches after which i'll go ahead to mark my waistline which is 16.5 then i'll proceed to add 0.5 inch allowance which implies that i'll mark 17 inches okay then i'll mark what i marked again 8 inches 10 inches 16.5 inches and 17 inches i did this because um i would like to get a straight line so marking this again will enable me to get a very straight line so i'll go ahead to connect all the points after connecting all the points the next step is to divide your shoulder width by two mine is 15 divided by two gives 7.5 and guys we are not going to just mark that 7.5 here if you do your off shoulder will be too big so i'm going to subtract two inches from that which implies that i'm going to mark 5.5 inches 7.5 minus 2 gives 5.5 inches so do your own calculation and mark what you have at that point as you can see then on the armhole line i'll divide my bust by 4 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 so that's what i marked then i'll go ahead to connect from that 9.5 that i marked to this 5.5 inch point after connecting that i'll proceed to add one inch seam allowance i told you guys i'll be working with one inch seam allowance then on my waistline my waist circumference is 29 29 divided by 4 is 7.25 which is what i marked at that point then i will go ahead to add my one inch seam allowance this dress does not have any that so we do not need to add that allowance okay then i'll go ahead to connect the point and after connecting the point i can now cut out am i the only one excited that i won't be using any dart on this dress like guys whenever i don't have to use a dart i'm only so excited you know 
what about you guys are you always happy to insert that in your projects just just let me know just let me know. let's discuss in the comments and share another thing you hate in sewing the next step guys is to mark 1.25 inch at this point then mark 1.5 inch at that point as well remember that you are going to turn this with the fabric at that point which implies that it's going to be bigger so subtract 0.5 inches from what you would normally mark at that point for me um i was supposed to mark 1.75 at the other point and i was supposed to mark two inches at the other point but because of the seam allowance i had to mark 1.5 and um 1.25 so go ahead now connect the points and then cut out the next step is to work on the neckline and this dress has a sweetheart neckline and on from the shoulder area i'm going to come down by 1.5 inches okay i told you guys just subtract 0 0.5 from what you would normally mark because you would still turn this with a lining so for me once i turn this part with a lining it ends up falling at the two inches point so i'll go ahead to cut it out now guys see how my own um sweetheart is looking like okay so um at this point we'll proceed to cut out the back part so i'm going to come with a piece of fabric that it's bigger than the previous one bigger by at least 1.5 to 2 inches because of the zipper allowance okay so the first thing i'm going to do and it's going to be on fold as well okay just make sure that one is bigger so imagine the first time what i measured was um, about 10.5 this one should be about if you add 1.5 should be about 11.5 inches or even 12 okay because of the zipper allowance the next step is to mark my zipper allowance i'm going to just mark 1.5 from beginning to the end the zipper allowance i'm working with is over one inch but just mark 1.5 inch at first from beginning to the end then i'm going to place the front pattern on top of it like this then i'm going to go ahead to trace it out just watch closely how i'm tracing it out we're not tracing out the cutout and yeah but every other thing we're tracing every other thing out so after tracing the sides i'll go ahead to trace out the armhole area then i'm going to just trace out my sweetheart neck like that we'll work on the back um later then at this zipper area um i'm going to mark one inch like i told you guys and then on the waistline just to you know reduce zipper body a bit i'm going to take half inch instead of the one inch okay so i'll connect the point then i'll cut it out then one more thing i'll do to reduce zipper bulge is to um, go up from the waistline by 0 0.5 inches then connect to the side seam just like you see me doing and i'll cut out so this should you know reduce it a bit because this fabric is a bit stretchy just to help us out now i'll go ahead to work on the shape i want my back neckline to be i came down by one inch and then i connected it in a um, curvy manner to the um, shoulder area okay so i'm going to go ahead to cut this out just you know make this any shape you would like you could make a v you could make it um, curvy just do anything you want okay so now i'll go ahead to cut out the front pattern again because we need two pieces of the front pattern and we've only cut one so i'll place that that again on another piece of fabric and i would go ahead to trim out what i have exactly the sweetheart neckline the cutout everything should be exact do you get so just trim it out and yeah let's move on to the next step at this point guys you would need to pay wrapped attention there are different types of circle skirts but we'll be looking at just two types today in order to calculate the radius of a half circle skirt you will need to divide your waist circumference by pi and to calculate the radius of a full circle skirt you would need to divide your waist circumference by 2 pi and pi in this sense is 3.142 having established that and knowing that we are going to be creating a half circle skirt we're going to divide our waist circumference by pi like i said pi is 3.142 my waist circumference is 29 so 29 divided by 3.142 gives 9.23 and 9.23 plus one inch seam allowance gives 10.23 so that is the um, radius that we are working with okay and since my table won't be able to contain this fabric we're going to cut on the floor so guys watch closely how you are supposed to fold your fabric now this fabric comes in 60 inches you understand unlike Ankara so that part that is 60 inches here is how you're going to fold it you're going to pick the edge 
unfolded this way in the form of a cone or in the form of a triangle can you see then go ahead to arrange it properly that's why we're cutting on the floor because if this were to be on the table you might not see all these things go ahead and arrange it properly on the floor this might take a while so just patiently carry out this step i'm going to show you a zoomed out view of this so you see how it looks like can you see how it looks like okay so now let's go ahead and take our measurement so guys from the top of this triangle or cone i'm going to go ahead to mark 10.23 round and just get the um, curve okay so i'll go ahead now and continue to mark my 10.23 round making sure that the um, beginning of this meter stays at the beginning of the triangle or at the beginning of the cone so guys i'll go ahead to connect the points very well okay so that it shows better on camera after that i'm going to go ahead to confirm if i'm on the right track i'm going to measure what i have at that point round and what you should be getting should be equal to when you divide your waist by four plus one inch allowance my waist is 29 divided by four plus one inch allowance gives me eight point um, two five. So if you check closely, what I got is eight point two five, which implies that I am on the right track. Now let's go ahead to add zero point five inch allowance at the top. This allowance we are adding is what we would use to join the skirt part to the top part. Do you understand? If you do not add the zero point five inches, you realize that when you are done joining your um, skirt part to the top part, the skirt part will be bigger okay so to avoid that just ensure you add your 0 0.5 inch allowance i am done adding mine and here is what i have okay so since this fabric moves a whole lot i went ahead to use my clips to hold it down okay you can use your pin to hold it down just use anything you have to hold it down okay so now the next step is to take the length of the skirt the length of my skirt is 41 inches plus 1 inch allowance for hemming is 42. So what I'm marking now is 42 inches. So look at the way I'm marking it. I'm moving my tape measure and I'm marking um, 42 inches from beginning to the end. So I'll go ahead now to keep marking that until I've gotten my curve, okay? Here is a closer view guys of what the curve looks like that's the one you can see in blue okay guys look at the top and look at everything so i'll go ahead now to cut out my curve okay and the next step now is to cut out the back part of the skirt guys after cutting out the front part i'm trying my best to get a straight line on the fabric because we need the fabric to be straight again just like we uh, met it the first time we folded it to cut out the front part if it's straight it makes everything easier so i'm going to go ahead to cut through now to try to get a straight fabric now as you can see i have already achieved my aim okay so now this fabric is now straight so what i'm going to do is to fold it again okay we're going to fold it in a cone shape or a triangle shape just like we did before cutting out the front part so go ahead and fold yours okay and arrange like i explained before guys the next step is to go ahead and mark one inch for zipper allowance towards the edge after marking the one inch for zipper allowance do not forget to connect the lines once you're done connecting the lines the next step is to place the front pattern that we had already cut out on top of it here is a closer view to aid your understanding ensure that the front part is touching that one inch zip allowance that you marked at the back okay so now the next step is to just cut out what we have there exactly like just trace out what you have there okay
at this point proceed to open up your zipper allowance like just um cut through it so that it becomes two piece because right now it is a one piece fabric so just slash through it so that it becomes a two piece now let's head back to the table then for the back guys back bodies we are yet to cut out a facing for the neckline so we'll go ahead now to cut out that facing we'll be cutting out two facings okay so um i'm going to fold a piece of fabric just like you're seeing then i would go ahead to trace out what i have on that neckline on the fabric at this point i'll go ahead to decide how wide i want this facing to be it can be as wide as you want but for me i just want something as wide as two inches so i just went ahead to cut that out okay so um this is the facing i'll be using for the back bodies i would go ahead now to place them right sides facing each other okay and i'll sew them using 0.5 inch seam allowance you can also go ahead to hem the base of this facing so that when you um, hem it down with your hemming gum it's going to be um, a perfect finishing especially if you do not have a serger or a weaving machine or an overlock machine like everything before we head over to our sewing machine let's go ahead to cut out the sleeves okay guys the width of the fabric that i would be using to cut out my sleeve is um let's let's measure it together anyway let's measure it together The width is about 68.5 inches and for the length, the length of what I have here is about 29 to 30 inches, it's 30 inches, okay? So we'll go ahead now to fold this fabric because we'll be using this fabric to cut out the two sleeves. See how I'm folding it? I folded it into two first and I folded it again to make it into four. So um, can you see? I'm folding. This is the fourth one and notes guys what we folded into for is the width and not the length we did not fold the length at all okay so now we will be able to cut out two sleeves from this arrangement so i'll go ahead to mark my starting line okay because the um, edge of this fabric is not straight and we need it to be straight so after doing that i'll cut off that part and i'll start to mark um the length of the sleeve the length of the sleeve that i will be working with is 24.5 inches plus two inches for elastic allowance that's one inch for the top and one inch for the down um to give 26.5 inches i hope that is explanatory let me repeat myself the um elastic channel will create at the top requires one inch the one below will also require one inch and my proper length of sleeve is 24.5 then i'm going to add that two inch to that 24.5 which will give me 26.5 inches okay so at the side seam area i'm going to go ahead to just open up this part okay then i'll proceed to measure out how wide i want my sleeve to be i want it to be as wide as 16 inches um whilst being folded so i'm going to go ahead to mark 16 inches from beginning to the end and i'll proceed to cut it out As you can see guys we have cut out the two sleeves and um, the next step now is to go ahead and fold the top of the sleeve to create an elastic channel for a half inch elastic okay i'll do the same thing for the um, other sleeve initially i wanted to use this chalk to map out how the pocket will be but guys this chalk was not right then, so please just take a look at how i went ahead to cut it just follow the direction of your hand but give it um, a lot of allowance and that's just how you cut your pocket it's very very easy okay now we have just cut one we need to cut out three more two for each side of um the dress okay so i'm going to go ahead now to cut out three more at this point i was able to cut out two then i went ahead to cut out the last one
guys i'm really sorry i couldn't join both the cutting and the stitching part together i tried to do that but the video was too long so i had to separate the two of them in our next tutorial i'll show you how i was able to join everything to form the full dress that you can see one more thing guys if you haven't subscribed at this point please endeavor to subscribe and please turn on your notification bell so that you'll be the first to receive any video that i post next guys from my analysis takes almost all the people that watch me are yet to subscribe please endeavor to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video guys bye